Nazi Media, Staff Philadelphia, PA, Frankfurt Cover Photo Courtesy, Fox 29 Philly. A 27-year-old man was reportedly shot and killed in the East Frankfurt section of the city this morning slash afternoon. A CBS 3 Philly report said, the incident happened on the 1600 block of Margaret Street at around 11.30 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Photo courtesy, ABC News. The victim was reportedly shot a total of six times. Twice in the head, twice in his arms, and twice on the right side of his abdomen. The man was transported to Temple University Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at 12.39 p.m. Police say two people are in police custody related to the shooting. No weapons were reported recovered by police. Tucson, Arizona. Convicted rapist Larry Nasser was assaulted in prison. NBC News, at NBC, reported, the assault took place just hours after Nasser was released into the penitentiary's general population. The report doesn't state how bad, or not bad, the assault was. For all we know he could have simply got sucker punched, or he could have been stomped out by 50 inmates. I don't know. What I do know is, Nasser is serving a 60-year prison sentence in the feds for multiple rapes and fondlings of young women and girls. I also know that Nasser still has a 175-year sentence to serve over in the state. Unless appeals help him out, chances are Nasser will be spending the rest of his life in prison. And unlike people sentenced for white-collar crimes, Nasser will likely be doing his time in the pen due to rape being labeled as a violent crime. It's highly likely Nasser will be assaulted again at some point. Going to prison on a rape charge makes Nasser a prize target. Walking cool points of sorts. Meaning anyone who assaults and gets props from fellow inmates. The Detroit News obtained documents filed by Nasser's lawyers on Tuesday, seeking an appeal of his 60-year sentence because of the May assault. In the court documents Nasser's lawyer, Jacqueline McCann blamed the man who attacked Nasser in the courtroom and sentencing Judge Rosemary Aquilina's courtroom conduct for the prison assault stating their actions set the precedent for future prison assaults of Nasser. Greater than Judge Aquilina made numerous statements throughout the proceedings indicating that she had already decided to impose the maximum allowed by the sentence agreement even before the hearing began. Thus, from the defendant's perspective the sentencing hearing was just a ritual. Judge Aquilina allowed more than 150 women to give victim impact statements during Nasser's sentencing hearing. The hearing took seven days to complete. Nasser's lawyer's court documents continued. Greater than the judge herself openly lamented that she could not impose cruel and unusual punishment upon the defendant, indicated her expectation that he would be harmed in prison, without condemning it, and finally proclaimed, with apparent relish, that she was signing his death warrant. Unfortunately, Judge Aquilina's comments and conducting of the sentencing proceeding appeared to encourage this type of behavior. About 70 to 80 percent of the inmates at Tucson Penitentiary are sex offenders, according to a retired Bureau of Prisons employee. The former employee stated that if it's determined that there is a threat to Nasser's safety at Tucson Pen, he will be transferred to another penitentiary. The former employee suggested USP Terre Haute or USP Coleman as possible landing spots for Nasser if transferred. The former employee says this, because those penitentiaries have an even higher percentage of sex offender population, and those pens have a high level of inmates who have cooperated with the government. The former employee also added that, because of Nasser's sentencing length, the BOP could waive Nasser's public safety label altogether and move him to a medium security level prison, which could be a huge difference from being in the pen. Depending on which prison he goes to, could be a lot less violent or not. Depends on where you go.